Companies starting with Datalyzer FMEA often have FMEAs and control plans available in Excel. Datalyzer offers an option to import these Excel sheets directly in the database. We can import different FMEA formats from Excel, including the VDA AIAG FMEA format. Here you see a typical example FMEA in Excel. In the Documents catalog under the menu option File, you can start the Excel import screen. Then you get three tabs for the different formats to import. In each screen, you can define how data needs to be imported from Excel. The FMEA tab is used in most industries, including aerospace. The VDA AIAG tab has a lot more columns to support the import required in automotive. The control plan has one format used in all industries. If you have Excel sheets in the standard format and you want to convert to the AIAG VDA format, you can also simply import the old sheets and then after import, convert to the AIAG VDA format. The new columns will then be automatically added. If you have saved specific import settings before, you can open these settings again by clicking the Load Settings button and select the right settings from the list. The functionality of the import works the same in all three tabs. So in this video, we will demonstrate one example. First, you must enter the name of the sheet where the FMEA can be found. In this case, the name is Sheet 1. Then you can enter the field setup for the header. In this example, you can see that the first description can be found in Column D and Row 1. So we enter Column 4 and Row 1 in the header setup. In the same way, you can enter the other header fields. In fields where you need to enter a name like Core Team and Person Responsible, make sure the first and last name entered in the spreadsheet are exactly the same as the first and last name in the setup of users. If the content of the field doesn't match the first and last name of the user, it will not be imported. If you, for example, have different names in the Core Team, then only the names existing in the user list will be imported. Names not found in the user list will be ignored. To enter the setup for the body, you must first define the row number where the body starts. In this case, it is 10. You can leave the field quit after blank lines at 0. This is used for specific cases. Then you must enter the column number for each field in the Excel sheet. The classification symbol column can only be imported if you use a number. Symbols cannot be imported, but the related number can be imported and will be shown as a symbol. So in Excel, if you replace the symbol by the corresponding number, the import will succeed. Date fields will be imported if the date is the only information in the field. For example, if you combine action taken and date in one field, the date will not be extracted. If a date can't be converted correctly, the date of the conversion will be entered. Make sure the Excel document is closed, otherwise the import will fail. If you then click on Import, you can select the Excel document and the FMEA will be imported. When you import, the settings will stay available on the screen. You can save these settings for future use by selecting the Save Settings button and then provide a name for the settings. The Excel sheet is imported and is shown on the screen. The data is not saved yet, so you can verify if everything is imported correctly before you save it. In this example, the Excel format is pretty close to the Datalyzer FMEA format. Normally, you can also import if there is not an exact match. To import an FMEA, it is important that there is a step cell available. The step cell does not need to be a number. Remember, you can use a process of trial and error because the imported Excel sheet is not saved yet and the last settings are automatically stored, so it is easy to make a correction and try again. In the same way, you can also import data from the control plan. It is possible to link an FMEA and control plan afterwards.